Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right, so today's video, we are revealing a new car, a new build for the channel. Uh, something I've wanted to do for ages. Kind of started it with a different car, but uh, yeah. Right, wasn't the right time, uh, it was better to part it out. But anyway, let's get on and show on the car. So, as we walk out of the back, two cars out there, why? Why is there two cars? So, this here, 2003 BY Commodore. I'm gonna be turning it into my competition drift car. So, completely guarded, completely stripped. That motor's coming, this motor's coming out because it's got a bad head gasket, got parts coming on the way. But this one here, this VX. Now I hate VXs, I don't like the shape, the interior, the body, but that doesn't matter. This here is manual. So if we open this door, as you can see I've got the boot. Just shove there, it's manual. And you've got the third pedal. One, two, three. So, this car here is far enough for a manual swap. So I'm gonna be ripping everything out of this. So I have to go into this. This also has a full set of pacemaker extractors down there. And a full exhaust, which is actually a twin cap style, so I can actually get any LS1 cap back on. Doesn't actually sound too bad, but in a ripping basically by an entire drive line exhaust. Take the rear brakes off, brake line, move them across. So I've got dual brakes, doing a hydro handbrake setup, uh, full exhaust for now until I change that. And then after we've done a few events, get used to the car, get some seat time, get some tandeming sorted, then we're whacking a turbo kit on this. I already have turbo manifolds for it. Already got the sump for it. Just got to buy cheap as chips turbo. Uh, I've already have an in-core and in-core piping from EcoJet's old setup. That's all sorted. Do a new exhaust because it's just going to dump out the side more than likely. But yeah, that's what's going to happen here. I've already got some lowered springs for the rear. Just got to get lowered springs for the front until I find a cheap set of coilovers or I can save up enough. But for now, it's a complete interior. Uh, which will be getting completely gutted and stripped out. Obviously, it's automatic, that's why we're manually converting it. Um, this is the car that I did the one the auto tune on, so I'll be doing a video on that later today, showing how it is the tune. I'll have two ECUs there one with, one with that tune, one with, without it to prove it. So that'll be going up at some point, probably on TikTok, not on this. But yeah, so that's all that there. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell. Probably not because the GoPro is pretty dark, but it has been absolutely pissing down. This is actually the first bit of sun I've had in ages. So hence why the last couple of videos haven't been interesting. It's absolutely been pissing down. Like I took EcoJet for a drive earlier in the video you guys saw last week. I hope you can still see that. But yeah. Just absolutely wrenched. But let's talk about that, so like I said, competition drift car. So it's the VY, it's getting a manual swapped from the VX. Just the usual get track, so I'll see along that lot. Uh, I'm gonna have spare motors, I'm gonna continue building one. It's gonna be cam to turbo, and we end up going in. So I'll have a bit more power to go up against the big boys. Uh, I'm gonna do a dual caliper using a Showtime brackets to weld it on, so I'll be doing a video on that as well. Um, gonna be using dual brake lines for it because I'm gonna have a um, hydro handbrake that isn't in line, it's got its own master. So if you're doing that, do a video on that. Um, I may even also do a series with it where I take it down to the drag and show the difference between certain things you can do to it. So maybe I'll put like a stock exhaust on it first, send it to the drag, see what time and mile per hour and put the full pacemaker extractors and cat back and all that crap on. Do it again, see what it gets, show the time, and then mile per hour, 
um, say if roller rockers pop up cheap, I'll grab them and do the same thing. And then once we turbo, obviously do it. Turbo maybe turbo on the stock motor. And then turbo on the L67 bottom end with ARP hardware and a camshaft, etc., etc. Or on the factory ECU. And then at some point I'll change it to going on the wink ECU. And maybe I'll do a quick rundown of that and we'll do a full in-depth video of tuning it where I have like the screen capture up so you can see exactly what I'm doing in the actual software to tune it. Um, yeah. So sorry it's talking video, but I've got nothing to put out because one, it's been raining so much I haven't been actually get out and do anything interesting with this. Two, uh, with my trailer and how low the car is, I can't open the driver's door, so I'd have to trailer it to the dyno with the window down and obviously like it's been absolutely monsooning here. So the whole interior would have been wrecked, so I couldn't do that. Plus, I wasn't even sure if my tuner was tuning through the rain, or if he wasn't, he'd have a huge backlog of cars he's trying to get done anyway. The weather wouldn't have helped, but that's all right. Um, next break, hopefully. I've still got to change the wastegate spring in this to a bigger one. Um, but yes, yeah, so I haven't been able to do that. It's been raining so much that I haven't really been, I didn't really want to push this out in the rain and to be able to get the VX on the hoist to strip it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a video on me ripping everything out of the VX or if you don't care and you'd rather just see everything getting done. Because um, yeah, otherwise it'll be quicker if I just smash it out, so I might do that. But if you guys do want to see it, then I'll film what you guys want to see. Um, like, I don't know what to do to make this video interesting. Um, I doubt anyone's actually still watching, but yeah, so at some point as well, I'm sending the trailer off to get tandem axle. Uh, we'll have a second axle put on and it'd be extended. I had a VY ute on the back of there that I took up bush because I took my white one back from where it was up bush, so took a cart there to replace it. And because the ute's obviously longer, that only overhung my trailer by about 500 mil so if I get it extended a meter that'll be perfect um that'll be compliant and then also dual axle then the cops can say nothing yeah oh excuse me but uh yeah there's nothing really else I can do there's nothing really I can give an update on here uh, my brother's motor which is the one that's in the corner there Still waiting for head gaskets and head bolts. I can put that on and then bolt it all back up in his car. That L67 motor there. I'm still waiting for um, two rods and two pistons to be replaced on it. They are meant to be sorted, meant to be posted months and months ago, but the guy's been busy, so is what it is. Um, the Missos LS1 swap. So actually have the tail shaft stuff here to measure up um, and then get that sent off and made to suit and then it's just the full exhaust uh, which will be costly but yeah that's basically where that's at um, and once we have all those pieces it will be coming everything's coming back out to finish the engine bay and I think that's when I'll start to film that series I'm doing it because right now it's just been a lot of test fitting seeing how the conversion parts go and what needs to be done. So I just wanted to get on with that rather than worry about camera angles. So yeah, if you guys still want to see that, that'll be coming up. Oh, that's a harness here actually that I completely stripped out of all the crap we didn't need, moved the ECU plugs to inside the cabin. Um, and then I have labeled all the wires we need. So all these here will be stuff that require power from memory. Yeah, I've labeled them all. My transmission switch uh, and a ground uh, AC compressor. Yes, yeah, so I can run all them to relays and then, um, oh yeah, I mean, there's other, everything's all labeled anyway. So I can just get a relay box with some fuses and wire that in. I'll probably order that while I'm at work. And then I've rewrapped everything in this when I ran out of tape, so the gearbox side hasn't been done yet, but I'll get some more tape ordered so that's all matching. I'll probably just wrap straight over this curry so it's still protected good from weather. Um, 
That's where we're at with that. VA so yeah, is still just old faithful, turn key starts. Um, I'm getting very tempted though to buy a turbo kit from Kill Boost for this, so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing the VE get turboed or if you're mainly here just for EcoJet and I guess hopefully you guys will be interested in the drift build. Um, I have had no bonnet and front bumper because I do have that all here. The bonnet's sitting there, that's from the blue ute, so that's there and I've got the front guards because one of them's damaged. Um, front guards are down there in between the tyres be bolted on and then the front bumpers here so it will be complete um, and then yeah I'll eventually find some SS or S pack side skirts and rear bumper for it um, or when I get eco jets done over there which is I still got to continue sanding to paint I'll put that one that's on there on it yeah I'm pretty excited for that um, as Matt Suri in October so I'm hoping to have it driving by then which should be really it's just a the manual conversion and then head gasket both of those motors have done a head gasket so um yeah just do a head gasket on it whack my tune in it and go full send hopefully don't blow the gearbox um hopefully i want to find a diff that has better diff gears than that so uh, will help turn the tire a bit if I find 411s, I'll be laughing, but I'll even go 37s or 39s. I don't really want to bother with 346. I just want to go straight. Yeah, 37, 39, or 411s, which will be stupidly short with the Getrag, but for drifting, it will help, especially when it's low power. And then I'll keep stock ratio diff. Or if the VX has a 346, I can't remember what the factory ratio is for Getrags, but if it has a 346, then I'll keep that aside for when I go turbo, and I'll put that in because turbos are like more load, longer, longer gear set, provides more load on the motor, so it'll actually be more beneficial for the turbo setup, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments if you are still here and you do want to see me stripping the VX in a video or you don't care and you just want to see it all happen in the VY, and if you do want to see everything happen to this too, because um, if you, if everyone, lots of people do want to see this happen, then I'll do it as a main feature. If they don't, then I'll still film it, but I'll do that as an extra video. So you'll have Saturday uploads as per normal, and then once I've filmed a ton of them, of this stuff, I'll have them come out secondary on Wednesdays, so you get double the content. Um, but keep in mind, if you guys want it, don't want it as a main feature, and it is coming out on Wednesdays, it won't be every Wednesday because I won't be filming and working enough on that to have enough content because if I still got to do my usual Saturday up uploads, I've, that's three videos I've got to get done in a week that I'm home among all the house jobs and spending time with the missus and stuff that comes up and plans we have. So yeah, that's your options. Main feature all every Wednesday here and there when I've done stuff. But. I've talked more than enough. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But that's what's happening anyway. So next week you'll see, well, yeah, next week for you guys, you should hopefully see stuff happening for the drift build. Hopefully we'll have a dyno video as well. Um, or at the very least, hopefully it's dry and we can get out and properly get on song with this. I'm gonna change the wastegate spring as well to a bigger one. So I got the box out here ready. Give me springs and polar there. So you got two different, two different springs. I think it was the yellow one I want to put in, and it takes up to 26 psi of gate pressure. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching. If you still are, and I'll see you guys next week.